Welcome to now about James Bill. Hope you're well. Thanks for joining me. Right. Uh, it's half six uh, Sunday morning. Um, the reason I'm up so early is because I need to basically get the paint on um, the top, the first coat of top shep, top coat on before the main heat of the sun arrives at about midday. Um, so obviously it's still really early, so I've got um, there's still dew on the boat, so I need to wipe all that off, dry it off, and uh, certainly on the roof, the size and the gunnels are all obviously fine. But I'm going to do that first, and then um, yeah, and then get the paint down. So this will be the last time you see it in its battleship grey, which is a shame because I love the I love the name of the colour, and I do actually quite like the colour. It's kind of grown on me now. But next one is going to be better. Let's get cracking. Okay, so I'm ready to put on the first coat of Bethnal Green. Now what I'm going to try to do with this top coat is do these whole sections across in one so I don't get a ridge in the middle or try to minimise the ridge in the middle. So that's what I'm going to try to do. And then when I lay it off, I'll be able to go all the way across. Well, I like the colour so far. It's not really easy to tell with this light, bright light shining on it. But it's had one first coat of Bethnal Green. It's gone on really quite easily. I mean, I was expecting it to in fairness, but this is obviously a high gloss paint. Um, maybe it's just the light. It's starting to look like a army issue boat. I guess the only 
difference being is that the army probably didn't move at two and a half miles an hour. And clearly this is popular with the flies because as soon as I put this on, all these bloody midges have decided to land on it. So I don't know if they're now permanent fixtures on the boat. But it's got a much shinier shine than the uh, undercoat. I can see that already. The difference between that bit there and this here, and it's not even dried yet. the boat done up to there so all of this is green I don't know how well that's being picked up on camera I've just built out the boat again and now I can apply the paint to the bulkhead wall um, even though the doors are going to be replaced at some point in the future, it will tie it up anyway, I'm going to make features of the bits that are on there. Um, possibly with the exception of this little lock thing here. Um, but I'm going to put that in cream, and the hinges in cream. Um, the gas locker I'm going to paint now, even though it is going to be replaced, um, which is a bit annoying. But Otherwise, this is going to look crap, so I'm going to do that. painting all morning and then the minute that big comes down with his wife for those of you who don't remember big's the one who gave me the propeller the moment he comes down i just happen to sit down and have a little break it's typical as a right go he forgot carrying on anyway big hope you enjoy your trip um, i've made two mistakes already with the painting the first mistake is that I have bought undercoat for dark colours, so it's either going to be blue or grey, so a grey undercoat is fine. Because I'm taking quite light colours now, the grey undercoat is a bit too heavy, I should have had a white undercoat. So that's the first mistake. The second mistake I've made is I've painted the bow extension uh, in gloss, and I have a feeling that if I was to paint that like I wanted to, to make it look like a cratch cover, I'd have probably done that in a matte colour, so I might have to uh, sand that back a little bit. So that's a bit irritating. But I'm now going to go on with the chalky white on the old rails here. So I'm hoping that it's going to take okay, even though that is a grey undercoat.
true British style and now going to complain that it's too hot to do any work outside on the boat. Um, when I was painting the rail just now, that kept kneeling against the side and I've now got burn marks on my knees. So I think I'm going to call it a day for a bit. Uh, the England match is on soon, so I think we're going to uh, rig up a TV somewhere and watch that. So, um, and then this afternoon or this evening, I can kind of do some more painting on this. I've got one more side of the boat to do and the rails as well. Um, I really should be using masking tape on the rails, uh, but it's first coat, it should be all right. I just want to get, I just want to get the stuff on, to be honest. Um, so I'll hopefully get the first coat done of everything today. Um, maybe when the sun, when the heat of the sun goes a little bit, the boat will start to cool down, I can get cracking with that. Oh, that's a nice idea, taking this day boat out for a 70th birthday party. Yeah, that's a very nice idea. stopping for the England match I've been painting this boat pretty much all day it's uh, eight o'clock now um, so it's uh, yeah 14 hours minus two for the England match so it's uh, taking its time but I'm happy with how it's looking um, I think the cream goes against it nicely so I'm happy with that um, I guess this yeah, it's a fairly, I think these are the colours, bear in mind this company make, there's a craftsmaster make paint for trains, I'm pretty sure this is the colour of a train, or it might have been like back in the 50s or something, so I quite like the colours though. Um, these I'm going to do in the cream, I like the way the cream looks, it's quite a bold cream, so I think those uprights are going to look good in that. Um, the rudder I was always going to do cream. Um, so I might do that a different colour, I'm not sure. But it's been lovely out here today. And from over the way, I've had Nigel and Lynn who came over, who have watched the channel for ages. So, uh, hello guys, they've recently bought a boat over there. So, um, don't know what they let themselves in for. And then also, Dave and Lynn from over the way. 
popped over to say hello. So, all in all, been quite a sociable day. Do you reckon? Look at this little old boat, eh? Not too bad for a sinking ship. <laughs> Sorry, you're recording. Sorry, Mate, that might have to make the edit, you know. <laughs> I hope it does. Well, there's a few drips, a few spills. But this is how she's looking after today's work. Well, that has been some full-on day, but I'm really, really happy with the outcome. Uh, I think the colours look great. The, uh, the cream kind of trim and lines around the boat work fine. I'm not 100% sure about colouring in the hinges. Um, I'll have to see what it looks like with the, uh, when the livery's on. But certainly this bit of trim around the edge here, okay, it's not properly done yet. I need to do masking tape and stuff. But um, yeah, I'm well happy with it. It's gonna look, it's gonna look pretty smart. Um, so plan is for tomorrow, it's really just to kind of tidy it up a bit. I'm not gonna put a second coat on tomorrow. I'm gonna leave it a week uh, and then come back uh, maybe next weekend and put a second coat on. But. Yeah, a bit of smartening up and stuff to do tomorrow and kind of a little bit around there where the rope's on. I've got to take the rope off and stuff. I just didn't really get around to it today. But yeah, I'm quite happy with the colour choice. I think uh, it's gone all right. Well, that's it from me tonight. I'm going to um, get myself some food and I think we're having a bit of a jam later on. So that'll be the plan. But it's nine o'clock and it's kind of still so bright out here. It's lovely. So... Um, but yeah, I've earned myself a beer after today. Anyway, hope you guys are all very well. No doubt, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.